Hey guys, this is Stephanie Farron. I'm the media specialist at Butler High School, and this quick video tutorial is on how to set up and use prerequisites in Canvas. Um, prerequisites are a very useful tool in the fact that you can select how you want your students to navigate themselves through Canvas, whether or not you want them to complete all the assignments in sequential order, whether you want to make sure they view every item in sequential order, whether you want them to mark things as done, submit an assignment before they get to the next assignment, or score a particular score on an item before they get to them. So it's just a way to organize and manage um, modules in Canvas, so that way you have a little bit more control over what the students do and how the students do it to manage their time. So let's look at this in Canvas. So for the purposes of this lesson, I'm sitting in a, an old course in Canvas. You can do this in any course in Canvas, but um, so that I don't mess up any course, I'm going to be using an old course. What you're going to want to do is use that left-hand menu and scroll down until you get to Modules. Okay, so we're going to click Modules. So Modules is a way to set up and, or, and arrange assignments so that they're in an order that your students know uh, what you want them to do when. So I'm going to click to add a new module. Um, and this module, I'm just going to label prerequisites since it's my example. Now, one of the things I'm going to mention to you um, as I'm creating this is be very careful with modules because when you're creating a module, by default, they're unpublished. So even if you add published assignments into modules, students will not see them unless the module is published and the assignment is published. And I'll review that again in this video as well. Learned it the hard way. Now, you can lock these um, modules until a certain date and time. So this is a great way for using this as a subfolder uh, or emergency lesson plans. You can have it locked and until a certain date and time so that it won't even become active until you're ready for it. And you can turn that off and turn it on it as needed so your students will never see it. Um, in addition, we can also add prerequisites and we'll talk about that in just a minute. First thing I wanna do in my module once I create it is I want to add some assignments. By default, whenever you make a, a new module, they're going to be at the bottom of the module page. If you want them to show up somewhere else on the page, you simply just drag your modules up. Okay? So I'm going to click the plus button to add assignments. Now, they don't just have to be assignments. Remember that in a module, you can add a quiz, you can add a file, you can add an external URL, you can add a discussion, a page, anything you want, you can put in there. Now, for my purpose, I'm just going to grab some assignments. You can also make a new assignment right there by clicking New Assignment. It's going to ask you to title it, and you can go right in and create it from here. Um, for this purpose, I'm just going to add a couple so you can see them um, so we have something to work with. Okay. Now, if you notice, my assignments are already published, but my module, like I said, is unpublished. So I would need to make sure that that is clicked on in order for my students to see this work now that it's a module. Okay, once I have some work in the module, I can arrange my uh, work based on just clicking and dragging and dropping to get them in the order that I want them to be in. When I have it the way I want it, then I'm gonna come back up to the three dot menu and I'm gonna click edit to then add uh, requirements. So what I'm gonna do right here is, um, right now I have it set, so student must complete all the work, all the requirements. I can also have it where students have to work in a sequential order. So the order I set up is the order they have to go in. Um, and then for each one of them, and I can change it for each one, they must complete. If I do one of these assignments, this is like a choose your own path. I'm going to give you five options. I only need you to do one for today. You choose that. However, here's my first item, um, second semester Canvas. So I can choose that they must view the item before they see the next item. They have to either mark it as done. So mark as done is a button in the top right-hand corner as a student view that not only they have to look at it, but they've got to click that button. Think about the digital citizenship courses. They have to submit the assignment. So if this assignment is a to-do and they have to actually have something done, they have to submit it. Or if it's a quiz or an item, they have to have a score. Now, if you're doing this as an assignment and they have to score at least, remember that if it's not auto-graded, you're going to have to get in their score before they get the next assignment. So think about this carefully when you're doing it. So if it's just a page of work, I might just have a mark is done or view the item. And then I'm just going to click the next requirement, click the next assignment, and have what I want them to do. Maybe this one, I want them to submit an assignment and then update the module. What you'll notice when you do that is on the page, and the students won't see this, but you will, you'll have now a complete all items list or you'll have exactly what you want them to do. So if I come in again and say, I don't want them to get to this module until they complete a module before it. So for example, this one, 
um, then when I update it, it's going to add that so I can see what the requirements are. Please make sure if you have not used uh, prerequisites and requirements with your students that um, you are very clear about this before you um, start this with your students. You don't want to do this to students who've never done this before and they get frustrated. Um, you also really want to use that student view option to walk through the prerequisite modules to make sure that what you intend for them to see and do um, are uh, what you actually want it to look like. Um, sometimes you think in your head it looks the way you've done it, but then when you actually do it, you left off one item. So just be really careful. Prerequisites can be beautiful and perfect and actually make students do what you want them to do, but they can also level add a level of anxiety and frustration if they're not used in the correct way. Um, so that's how to do prerequisites. Um, again, remember that you've always published your module as well as um, the assignment. You may want to go back to your home pages and make sure that on your home page you have set your home page um, so that your home page um, shows either what you want them to do or you, um, you've set it to modules so that way they can see the modules they need to do um, so they don't get lost finding the activity since now we're kind of halfway through the semester and there might be a lot of items there. Um, I would honestly suggest that you set your page as a home page. Um, you write very clear intentional directions so that they know what your expectations are and then maybe add the links to your modules there so that way they know what to find and when to find it. I would also definitely post the times that you're going to be uh, available online to help students. Um, so good luck.